Okay, we're here with the classic. This is the Oregon Trail. As in the one. Like, if you're going to play Oregon Trail, this is really the one you want to look for. Um, MECC 1985, Apple II. So this emulator is the virtualapple.org. You can play it in a browser for free. I'm not sure about the uh, dubious legality of such a thing, but, you know, whatever. It's here, so I'm going to take advantage of it. And I probably would have played it on a monitor like this, green screen, monochrome, whatever. Um, the school would have had one color monitor that was not in our classroom. It was actually in the computer lab. And I think it was just for the teacher. I don't think the kids got to use it ever. So, okay. I'm going to play it like this because while that's pretty cool with the scan lines and everything, that's really, it's too clean. So, okay, we're going to check it out here. Um, the box art that's applied for this shows a prospector with the kid. He's behind him over the kid's shoulder giving him tips or directions or whatever. So we'll assume that he's the narrator. And I will attempt to do this in his voice through the whole thing, at least what I imagine he sounds like. But... When I do voices, I tend to let the accent kind of trail off, and before you know it, this guy might be a, you know, some kind of European baron or something, so we'll see what happens. Learn about the trail. Try taking a journey by a covered wagon across 2,000 miles of plains, rivers, and mountains. Try. On the plains, will you slosh your oxen through mud and water-filled ruts, or will you plod through dust six inches deep? How will you cross the rivers? If you have money, you might take a ferry, if there is a ferry. Or, you can ford the river and hope you and your wagon aren't swallowed alive. What about supplies? Well, if you're low on food, you can hunt. You might get a buffalo. You might. And there are bear in the mountains. At the Dalles, you can try navigating the Columbia River, but if running the rapids with the makeshift raft makes you queasy, better take the Barlow Road. If for some reason you don't survive, your wagon burns or thieves steal your oxen, or you run out of provisions, or you die of cholera, don't give up. Try again, and again, until your name is up with the others on the Oregon Top Ten. Okay. You may use these colors to adjust the monitor. That blue is blue, that green is green, the other ones are what they are, so bam. Okay, control S to turn the sound off. Uh, I was recording a run of this earlier that crashed, and so I did learn that the keys appear to be the same on the Apple as they are on the PC. Um, the Commodore, they're a little bit different, so that's, you know, that's handy. You can actually use this, this uh, option here as it's listed. Okay, so I'm going to turn the sound off anyway right now because... PC speaker is rough business and it made my dog bark or my neighbor's dog rather may as well be my dog it always gets through the fence anyway let's uh, let's see the Oregon top 10 here so we need a, a thousand points to get on the top 10 uh, would you like to see how the points are earned sure okay so the more people that we have is better and the healthier they are is better so Basically what that means is, you know, you can feed them better at the very end if you're getting close and kind of up their health a little bit, you know, you can kind of cheat. And then your resources, this is like completely beyond your control because who the hell knows, you know, you may lose stuff just at random, so you can't rely on that. And you receive points for your occupation in the new land because farmers and carpenters were needed more than bankers. More farmers and carpenters were needed than bankers. I guess either way it works. You receive double points upon receiving arriving in Oregon as a carpenter. And triple points for arriving as a farmer. Okay, so we're going to travel the trail here. Uh, let's see. Find out the differences between these choices. Traveling to Oregon isn't easy, but if you're a banker, you'll have more money for supplies and services than a carpenter or a farmer. However, the harder you have to try, the more points you deserve. Therefore, the farmer earns the greatest number of points, and the banker earns the least. 
but really a banker having to like get dirty and ride in a wagon and you know have dysentery and poop on himself come on like that's pretty rough don't you think but I'm not sure but I really I really feel like the carpenter is capable of fixing wagon parts like without having to replace them he can kind of patch it up and stretch out your your supplies there a little bit longer so we're gonna go with him okay what is the first name of the wagon leader that would be me what are the first names of the other four members in your party okay so I have two guys and three girls so what I'm gonna do here is uh, I don't usually use my my friends names here but uh, you know what I'm gonna go ahead and do it Mikey and Kelsey and Ashley and Heather these are all people I like a lot so yeah well I want to get them there in one piece that dog right there in the middle of the street was actually ripped for Oregon Trail like zombie Oregon Trail that's actually super cool nod that I didn't know about until today okay it is 1848 you're jumping off place for Oregon is Independence Missouri you must decide which month to leave Independence so ask for advice you attend a public meeting held for folks with California Oregon fever. You're told, if you leave too early, there won't be any grass for your oxen to eat. If you leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter comes. So if you get stuck, you know, you have to eat each other or whatever, Donner Party. If you leave at just the right time, there will be green grass and the weather will still be cool. Okay, so we're going to leave in April because I know for sure July is too late and March is too early. But have you ever gone outside in June? damn hot so you know April okay before leaving independence you should buy equipment and supplies you have $800 in cash but you don't have to spend it all now I think the farmer only has like like 400 or something and the the banker has like a thousand I forget you can buy whatever you need at Matt's general store hello I'm Matt so you're going to Oregon I can fix you up with what you need a team of oxen to pull your wagon clothing for both winter and summer Plenty of food for the trip, ammunition for your rifles, spare pots for your wagon. Okay, I don't know why I make him British, but you know, he just looks like an old British dude to me. Standing there smoking his pipe, kind of, kind of as a George Carlin in the Bill and Ted movie. Well, I forget his name, but Rufus, kind of a Rufus kind of thing going on there. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, two oxen and a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. I charge $40 a yoke. How many yoke do you want? Well, we'll go ahead and take his recommendations because, you know, I don't know all the nuances. And I'm aware George Carlin isn't British, so don't tell me that. I recommend you take at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your family. I see that you have five people in all. You'll need flour, sugar, bacon, and coffee. My price is 20 cents a pound. How many pounds of food do you want? Okay, so that's five times 200 is a thousand. So we'll take a thousand and down there at the bottom we see the you know the bacon we'll have to cut ourselves and the sack of flour or whatever so I guess that's a, a big thing a U-ban in the back mm, okay thousand pounds of food word okay clothing you'll need warm clothing in the mountains I recommend at least two sets of clothes per person each set is ten dollars how many sets of clothes do you want so two times five is ten so there's a hundred bucks down the drain but you get uh, you know, a hat and some boots and a serape. You know, who needs any underwear or anything? So there you go. Uh, ammunition. I sell ammunition in boxes of twenty bullets. Each box costs twenty. Each box costs two dollars. I can't read my own text. How many boxes do you want? Okay, so I will take ten. Two hundred bullets. I, I remember being really, really bad at the hunting on this. So we'll see what happens. Uh, spare parts. This is pretty important. It's a good idea to have a few spare parts for your wagon. Here are the prices, and they're ten dollars each. Memory serves. You can only take three of each, so we'll just take three of each. And we're all set to roll. Well then, you're ready to salt. Good luck. You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. I shall go inside and count my money, sucker. Okay, so we got our. This is a good example of four color graphics being put to good use here. There's not, you know, too much detail possible 
but you get the gist of what's going on. You know, everything's got its own style. Davy Crockett looking dude, guy on a horse, little dog out in the street, wagon train going out. Now, this is what it sounds like if you have the music on. So, no, I can't do it. So we continue now, okay. So, we'll look at our map here, just to get an idea of what we're in for. That's a long ass way to go, you know. No GPS or anything, you're just following the dead trail of dead guys, I guess. All right, we're gonna look at the pace here. You're currently at steady, see what your choices are. Find out what these different paces mean. Steady. You travel about 8 hours a day, taking frequent rests. You take care not to get too tired. Strenuous. You travel about 12 hours a day, starting just after sunrise and stopping shortly before sunset. You stop to rest only when necessary. You finish each day feeling very tired. Grueling. You travel about 16 hours a day, starting before sunrise and continuing until dark. You almost never stop to rest. You do not get enough sleep at night. You finish each day feeling absolutely exhausted and your health suffers. Okay, so one, the the score thing at the very beginning of the game would tell me that you could probably play on strenuous for a while and then switch to steady at the end to get your guys back up in good health or whatever, but if we're basing this off real life, the last two sentences of grueling is how I live my life so we're gonna go ahead and go with steady since this is a fantasy game and I want to take it easy and we'll look at the food rations okay meals are large and generous meals are small but adequate so we want to stretch the food out as long as we can but without sacrificing people's health everybody stays hungry means I think you're more prone to get sick Let's talk to somebody here. A traveler, Miles Hendricks, tells you, Did you read the Missouri Republican today? Says some folks stopped for Oregon without carrying spare parts, not even an extra wagon axle. Must think to grow on trees. Hope they're lucky enough to find an abandoned wagon. So, we got our stuff, so let's bone out. And then this is your classic screen that, uh, you know, they make bumper stickers and shirts of and all that. And, let's see that's what most of the screenshots I see that's how I totally remember it but we're going like this so 102 miles we gotta get going here and oxen are hauling ass you are now at the Kansas River crossing would you like to take a look around yes I would and we got the river crossing here we also have music <laughs> I, it, maybe it's just too loud in my house or something, but I can't do it. It's making my ears hurt. And we always had to play it with the sound off at school. So, you know, and these are, again, pretty good graphics. You know, you see the grass, texture in the grass, and the reflection, the sunshine shining off the water or whatever. It looks nice. I don't know why the Commodore couldn't have this. It's so irritating. Okay, so we'll continue on the trail. And we come to our first boondoggle here. You must continue to cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 629 feet across and 5 feet deep in the middle. Okay, so... What is your choice? Get more information. To ford a river means to pull your wagon across a shallow part of the river with the oxen still attached. Cock the wagon means to steal it so that no water can get in. The wagon can then be floated across like a boat. To use a ferry means to put your wagon on top of a flat boat that belongs to someone else. The owner of the ferry will take your wagon across the river. We'll take a ferry. Five dollars in five days? No. Okay. We'll ford the river. May not make it. Sometimes you can't. Wow, we totally sunk. Oh shit, all my oxen? Wow. All my wagon axles too, damn it. Okay, well. From the Kansas River Crossing, it is 83 miles to the Big Blue River Crossing. Oh, great, the Big Blue River Crossing. You are now at the Big Blue River Crossing. Would you look, like to look around? I would. 
See, now that totally shows a dude taking his wagon across. Uh, health is fair. Well, okay. Two and, three, two and a half feet deep in the middle. We're going across. There we go. That's more like it. Your supplies got wet. Lose one day. Well, at least I didn't lose anything, though. Okay, from Big Blue River, 119 miles to Fort Kearney. Mikey has a broken leg. Uh-oh. Sorry, Mikey. Ashley is lost. Lose four days. Ashley, where are you? We got shit to do. It's going to get hot out here. It's May. Kelsey has cholera. Damn it, what are you doing getting cholera? You are now at Fort Kearney. Would you like to look around? I would. Pretty nice graphic there. Uh, it's a little bit windy looking. Wagon train going through. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me check my supplies here. I have two oxen. That's not going to cut it. So... I need oxen and I need wagon wheels. So let's go buy supplies. I would like to buy three. Okay, and wagon. Was it wagon axles? Okay, five. I would like to buy three. And we will leave the store. Okay. Talk to some. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Big Louie tells you the Platte River Valley forms a natural roadway from Fort Kearney to Fort Laramie. Travelers bound for California, Utah, and Oregon all take this road. Could be the easiest stretch of the whole trip. Should see antelope and plenty of buffalo. Okay. We'll go ahead and take off here. It is 250 miles of Chimney Rock. So once we get there, we'll be a quarter of the way through. Hopefully nobody decides to just die. Lose trail, lose two days. Okay. Find wild fruit. Okay, 20 pounds of wild fruit. Holy crap. You are now at Fort Chimney. Would you like to look around? I would. I like the Fort Chimney screen. I, rem I do remember this. Or Chimney Rock, Fort Chimney. What the hell? Okay, let's see. Talk to people. Aunt Rebecca Sim tells you, I hear terrible stories about wagon parties running out of food before Oregon. The whole party starving to death. We must check our supplies often. We might not get there as soon as we think. Always plan for the worst, I say. Yeah, you know what? You're not wrong, but we got shit to do, so we gotta go. 86 miles to Fort Laramie. So we'll probably buy some food when we get to Fort Laramie. One of the Austin is injured. Come on, homie. Take a break. Take a load off right here. You're now Fort Laramie. Would you like to... Uh, yes. I'm going to look at everything. Okay, so there's a fort and uh, a couple of dudes chilling out outside. A, a goat? What is that they're running around in there? Is that, that's not a baby horse. It's not a pony. But whatever. Uh, let's see. What did somebody have to say here? Be warned, stranger. Don't dig a water hole. Drink only the river water. Salty as the Platte River is, it's better than the cholera. We buried my husband last week. Could use some help with this harness if you can spare the time. Crap, Kelsey has cholera. Or had. I hope she got rid of it. Okay, let's see. Let's stop to rest. We'll rest for two days. Okay. Now we'll check supplies. Five oxen, 440 pounds of food. Okay, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy food. How many pounds? Okay, how about. Uh, 200. Okay, leave store. One hundred and ninety miles to Independence Rock. Found wild fruit. Wow, twenty pounds of fruit, that's crazy. Severe thunderstorm, lose a day. Okay. What? Get out of here. 
Chelsea has cholera again. Independence Rock. Okay. We'll see it. Charlie Dismet Johnson. Some Zeke Phillips. Okay. I don't know if that's people that worked on the game or what, but uh, you know, again, all these, all these like uh, landscape shots are all really nice for the apple. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rest because I don't want Kelsey to be sick. How about two days? Okay, talk to people. The young boy tells you, I carved my name way up on the side of Independence Rock, up near the top. There are hundreds of names carved up there. The oldest ones were carved by mountain men and fur trappers. Famous names like Fremont, Bonneville, and Desmet. Desmet? Oh, I, okay, real famous. I never heard of them. 102 miles to South Pass. Okay. Broken wagon wheel. Would you like to try to repair it? I would. You were able to repair the wagon wheel. Hell yeah. Carpenter for life. Okay. So if I check my supplies, still got all my wagon wheels. Good shit. Okay, let's go. Ox wanders off, lose two days. South Pass. Damn it, I'm bugging my throat. This is a really good one. You got the guy swapping stories with the Native American dude there. You know, and they don't make them out to be, you know, any kind of caricature. You know, they're just colored a little different and riding a horse, just like everybody else. Okay, talk to people. My father is very sick and we are resting here until he gets better. We have been pushing too hard and our health has suffered. When my father is able to travel again, we will go at a slower pace. Well, I'm going at the slowest pace possible, so that's all I can do. The trail divides here. You may head for Green River Crossing, head for Fort Bridger. See the map. about Fort Bridger 125 miles of Fort Bridger okay so when we get there we'll be halfway through the journey here Mikey has a broken leg another one or did he have a broken arm before you find an abandoned wagon with the following 21 bullets bad water okay somebody's gonna have the squirts uh, look around okay nice fort Nice wagon. Teepees outside. Okay. Rest for two days. Let Mikey's bone heal, cause you know, broken arm, broken leg, whatever. Couple days, good to go. This fort was built by Jim Bridger. Jim was a mountain man before he put it in this blacksmith shop and small store to supply the overlanders. Does a big trade in horses. Jim and his partner Vasquez. The chick from Alien with the infrared eye patch? Oh yeah, she was cool. Alright, so let's check our supplies here. Definitely need to buy some food. Everything else seems to be hanging in there pretty good, so uh, let's see. Buy supplies. Food. Can I buy 500? You cannot afford that many. Uh, how about 400? You cannot afford that many. Shit. Okay, uh, seven. How about 300? You cannot, what the hell? Uh, let's see. Food, 200. Alright, leave the store. My brain's not doing math, so whatever. One, let's go. Okay, at some point I'm definitely gonna have to. Uh oh, inadequate grass. Shit. Bad water. Inadequate grass. Hailstorm. Very hot hailstorm. Cool. Uh, let's see. We'll try to hunt for food here. Oh dear. Uh, arrow keys to point the rifle. Return key to stop or start walking. Space bar to fire the rifle. Okay. Come back here.
I almost kind of wish for the zombie organ trail controls as horrible as those are. Oh, wow! That bear pulled a Michael Jordan. He just jumped out of the screen. Damn it. Well, we're not going to get anything. We were unable to shoot any food. Huh? Homie's got to have something to eat. Come on, who wants some? Uh. Where's Buffalo at, man? I can't do nothing with his rabbit. That's enough for one person to eat. One pound of meat. <sighs> okay, one more try. One more try and then we're just going to go. Boom! I don't even need to shoot anything else. Because I'm not going to be able to carry back all that bear. Shot me a bar. I did. Beaver. Get away from me. Okay. You're only able to carry back 100 pounds. Okay. So check my supplies here. 351. I still got a whole, whole bunch of bullets. So we need to hunt later. Which we will. Mikey is lost. Lose two days. Damn it, Mikey. What the hell's wrong with you? Let's continue on the trail. I didn't mean to hit whatchamacall, honest. Return. Very little water. Wow, it's August. Sorry, hot. Soda Springs. Yay. See? Got the girl washing her feet there so she's not, you know, stinking up the the inside of her boots and cow is chilling out bull whatever washing the clothes and I guess that's young Michael laying on the on the stomach there don't know what he's doing in the water okay well that looks nice okay uh, let's look at the map again did I get to that other place yet I guess so um, okay Talk to people? Are there people here? My job is to find wood every day for the cook fire. Sometimes it's very hard to find enough, so I store extra places, extra pieces in a box under the wagon. On the prairie, I gathered buffalo chips to burn when there wasn't any wood, so they cooked food with uh, buffalo poop fire. Because that would be what a buffalo chip is. It's not like a potato chip. You don't want to eat it. 57 miles of Fort Hall. Okay, cool. Maybe we'll be able to trade at a fort. You are now at Fort Hall. Alright, let's check her out. Some deer hanging out outside. Uh, let's see. Talk to people. Fort Hall is a busy fort. The wide stretches of meadow grass here are just what you our tired animals need. As for me, I'll fix up the wagon leaks. Amanda's real anxious to wash all the clothes and linens in one of those clear streams. Alright, so we'll go ahead and rest since that dude's talking about it. How about two days? Okay. Uh, how much are supplies? 40 cents a pound. Holy crap. Okay, so I will get... What is that going to be? Like 50 pounds of food? Okay, leave the store. I'm not going to have a lot of money to live on once we get there, but... You know what? That's okay. Let's attempt to trade your supplies. 200 bullets. Well, I wouldn't give him 200 bullets anyway. What the hell's wrong with him? One ox. No. Are you kidding? See, some of these people are out of their mind. No one wants to trade with you today. Good. 310 bullets. Okay, well, we gotta go. We ain't got all day to be hanging out here. 182 miles to Snake River. Rough trail. Man, maybe we should have left earlier. Found wild fruit. Okay, some more food. I want to go. I keep hitting return when I don't mean to. Mikey has typhoid. Typhoid Mikey. Kelsey has cholera. Man, that's the third time Ashley has cholera. What are they doing? Making out in there? God damn it. 
Okay, Snake River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes. <clears throat> All right. So maybe this will be our our uh, our guide. He'll help us get through here. Let's see. Talk to people. It says right here in the Shively Guidebook, you must hire an Indian to pilot you across at the crossings of Snake River. It is dangerous and not perfectly understood, but my husband insists on crossing without a guard, uh, guide. Man, I can't read. What the hell's going on? Let's see. Health is very poor. Wow. Okay, stop to rest. How about six days? What are my supplies looking like? Pounds of food, zero. Uh-oh. Uh. Well, let's continue on the trail. One thousand feet across and six feet deep in the middle. Holy crap! Hire an Indian to help. Three sets of clothing. Ah, yes. Shoshone guide. Shoshone guide will help you float your wagon across. Okay, so we'll get to see that actually work. We had to give up a little bit of clothing, but you know, no big deal. There were worse things. 114 miles of Fort Boise, but we need to stop and we need to hunt for sure because there is no food. So Damn it. I know you're going to come back. Uh, shit. They're like hyper fighting. What the hell? Why are they so fast? Okay, well, gotta gotta keep hunting. I uh, gotta have something to eat. Otherwise, these people are gonna die. It's bad enough they all keep getting cholera and crap. Come here, man. Ah! Uh! Now, if I can just do that about 15 more times, it'll be swinging. Because it's, what is it, 10, 10 pounds a day? Get out of here, I can't do anything. Yeah, I can only carry back a hundred. Come back and eat the rest of this bear after I cut all the good parts off. Okay. Eight. Right. Who wants some? Huh? They keep running into that cactus. Don't run into that cactus, run into these bullets. Ah. Man, I'm not good at this at all. Well, we're not going to get anything this time. Damn, what a waste. Okay, well, we got to keep going. Come on, something big come out right here. Oh, you bastard. Why would you sneak up behind me? I'm not even going to bother with any rabbits. Boom. Okay. Got a deer. Maybe the deer is a hundred? No bears. Damn it. That one bear snuck up behind me and that was it. 58. Okay. So what's my supplies here? 158? 128. Oh, because it's 10 a day while I'm doing this. So I'm wasting all my food while I'm not killing shit. Great. Come on, punks. Yeah, get here. Everybody back off my kill. So that's like another 10 days or something. Okay. Now, 218. That's still not very good, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and head down the trail here. Health is fair, at least. Kelsey has a broken leg. Oh, no. Bad water. Inadequate grass. We'll rest at the fort. Fear not, Kelsey. Let's see. Yes. Does that lady have her tit out? Or is she holding a baby? What the hell is going on there? That's a nipple. And that dude's looking like, hell yeah. And that girl's like, hell yeah. And that bull is like, 
Yep, hell yeah. Okay, I'm gonna talk to people. At every fort along the trail, the prices have been higher than at the previous fort. This is outrageous. They're taking advantage of us. If I had the chance to do it again, I'd buy more supplies and independence. Yeah, except when you dump over in the river and lose half the stuff right at the very beginning. Ah, uh, let's see. We'll attempt to trade. How about some food? No one wants to trade with you today. Bastards. What am I... I only have 98 pounds of food. Okay, one more, one more attempt to trade here. One ox. You, no. What the fuck's wrong with these people? Okay, continue on the trail. 160 miles to the Blue Mountains. Rough trail. Heavy fog. Inadequate grass. Mikey has measles. Okay, stop. Um, I gotta hunt. This isn't gonna go well at all. I can't even hardly walk in here. How the hell am I gonna shoot something? Like that. Boom. Alright. That rabbit looks like he's scratching his leg or something. Okay. So there's some meat. So we can rest for... Let's rest for three days. Okay. And what's my supplies look like? 88. Crap. Okay, so I need to shoot a few bears here. But I'm not going to be able to with shit like this. Ah! The deer is like, tag, you're it. Walk, what are you doing? Come on, give me a slow moving bear up here. Yeah! He wasn't slow moving though, that was a uh, turbo bear. Okay. 178, okay. Uh, let's keep going. Ah! Bastard! Don't you understand? People keep getting cholera and broken legs. I need to have food so they can rest. Come on, why don't you come out here? Where it's nice and open. Damn it. Waste of food, okay. Ah. Uh. Uh. Okay. We're gonna creep to Oregon, but damn it, we're gonna make it. I don't remember if there's any sound while you're hunting. We're gonna we're gonna see right here because I'm gonna try and shoot me a bar again. Uh. How about eight hunt for food? Okay. Oh crap, I'm not gonna be able to navigate this. I just have to hope something comes over on this side. Fuck off, let some of the else come, yeah. That rabbit. Three pounds of meat. What a waste. Okay. Cool. Yep. Bear seen me coming. He turned around and went. Okay, now what do we got? 341, okay, that's a little bit more like it. Uh, space bar, how about we rest for five days? Okay, now, 291. Blue Mountains, yes I would. See, like, that's really pretty, considering what they had to work with, that they could even make it look 
remotely like what it really is. You know, that's that's pretty damn impressive. Okay, talk to people. We followed the edge of the desert from Fort Boise to the forbidding wall of the Blue Mountains. The hills were super dreadful steep. Locking both wheels and coming down slow, we got down safe. Poor animals, no grass or water for days. Okay. Uh, let's look at the map. How close are we? Super close. Alright, well, we're going to keep going here. Wait, let's attempt to trade one time. No one wants to trade with you today. Well, eat a dick. Trail divides here. You head for Fort Walla Walla. Nope, you know what? We're going to shoot the rapids. You passed the gravesite. Would you like to look closer? I would. Here lies Andy, pepperoni and cheese. Here lies Connie. Oh, sorry, Connie. Impassable trail is four days. Broken wagon tongue. Would you like to repair it? Yes. You were unable to. Okay, well, we replace it with the spare part, but that's okay. Severe blizzard. Oh, because it's November. Wow. Heavy fog. Lose one day. Would you like to look around? Yes, I would. Alright, so... Got our dude on a on a raft there with his wagon, ferry kind of thing. Uh, what do our supplies look like? Pounds of food, one. Wow. Okay. Um, talk to people. My cousin Lydia engaged passage down the Columbia with Indians. A canoe with 17 people and luggage. The wind blew so heavy they had to lay by. Near dark, high waves came up over their heads. Finally, they made it to shore safely. I wonder, like, Amy Witherspoon, I wonder if that's, uh, people that were, like, on the development team, or somebody's friend, or, or what. Okay. Trail divides here. You may float down the Columbia River, or take the Tarlo Barlow Toll Road. You gotta float down the river, man. You gotta dodge rocks, right? Use the arrow keys to guide your raft through the rushing waters of the Columbia River. After passing the third direction sign, land your raft at the trail to the Willamette Valley. Willamette? Isn't that where Dead Rising was? Okay, so... Wow! Uh, your raft has hit the shore. You lost one ox, two wagon... What the hell? Why is it drifting? One... I said the third one, right? I wasn't paying attention. Damn it. Two. Three. One moment, please. This would be Oregon. Willamette Valley, November 17th. Okay, so we made it. That's enough of that. Congratulations, you've made it to Oregon. Let's see how many points you've received. Okay, everybody was live, so that should be 2,500. Or, well, no, because they're in, like, fair health or something. We'll see. Five people in fair health, one wagon, four oxen, three spare wagon parts, seven sets of clothing, 154 bullets, one pound of food, 750 cash. For going as a carpenter, your points are doubled, so that should be 4,000. 4180. Okay. It's not bad. One moment, please. Boom. Would you like to make any changes? No, I would not. What do you think about that? It would be great if it saved that forever. If you came back here and, like, later that was on there. No. Okay, so that's the Oregon Trail. I got all my friends to Oregon safely. Uh, I've been wanting to play that for a while now, so now it's finally out of my system, and that's great. And I also learned how to record this emulator on here, so that's double great. Now I can do Apple games. So uh, I'll be back with some different stuff now.
But for now, that's uh, the Oregon Trail. If you sat through this whole thing, thank you for watching.